Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about the funding opportunity which are open throughout the year. So I am in the page science and engineering research board. Here, you can see that this is a uh, government of India based funding board where we can apply so few few funding we have that we can apply uh, within a time limit that they have on deadlines and few funding opportunities you know that is open throughout the year so we are going to talk about both the thing okay so for any funding you should uh, think important three things is what the deadline okay and the scope what other subject what other field they are expecting for and you should be prepared with the article before submission so all these things we'll be discussing so this is the page scrb page so here if you uh, click this announcement page you can just you can see what are the ongoing uh, funding you have that is funding opportunities funding uh, call for proposals and what is upcoming so if you click this ongoing you can see various okay so uh, you have one uh, one proposal which you can submit before september 13 i think still we have nearly eight days go uh, uh, eight days more the next one is what september 19 and next one is what uh, october 31 and uh, september 30 okay so here um, i'll also show you one thing which is throughout open throughout the year so here you can see this is the scheme which is open throughout the year so international travel support jc Bose, national fellowship national fellowship renewable ramanujam fellowship seminar and symposia you can even apply for the seminar and symposia for your college scrb power fellowship okay and visiting advanced joint research uh, faculty so these are all the uh, scheme which are open throughout the year so if you talk about the power grant so here you have uh, if you just click here okay let us just close this and if you click here funding opportunities you have various options here okay that is these are the schemes which they are providing to us so we are going to just explore about SARB power grant so if you click here SARB power grant you can see that this is specifically for women okay this is only for women that is promoting opportunities for women in exploratory research okay and you can check the other details here that is uh, uh, what is the minimum amount they are giving us a grant and who are all eligible for application and you need a principal investigator and the co-principal investigator everything okay and here you, they have given like how to apply online so here you can see that you have to first register here and of course for any proposal you should need all these information like what is your project title project summary keyword objective of the project expected output and outcome of the proposal budget so all these things you have to include in the budget okay this should be there in the proposal so before you submit your proposal you should have all this content with you and other relevant information one more thing that if you have already if you are holding any other fund if you are a principal investigator and if you have the fund already that is you have granted with any other uh, uh, funding agency then don't apply for this okay this is only for the new applicants or if you have applied and you didn't get any grant from any other funding agency then you can proceed with this okay you can just go ahead with this eligibility and everything and general guidelines and this is the email if you have any doubts you can just go and check here the email and in this particular uh, frequently asked question you will get more answers about uh, the uh, uh, any other doubts you have that is a general doubts whatever doubts you have you will get the answers for this okay so if we just go and check for the uh, last date okay if we go on if you just go and check for here uh, you will get uh, like when you have to submit okay so here you can see that okay so here uh, uh, you can see that what are the other informations you can get it okay what is the age limit uh, okay from the first we can see that what is the what is level one level two uh, for this and does the any other priority area so they whether they are just concentrating only on a specific area like mechanical engineering or a civil engineering but no the board funds all the areas of science and engineering without discriminating between disciplines so if you are 
in a science or engineering um, uh, domain then you can definitely apply for that whether if you have an already executing project or fund whether you can apply no you cannot apply okay and what about your principal and investigator and co-principal investigator co-investigator are in a different um, uh, different institution then what about it okay uh, in which modes we can you can apply for okay and um, uh, what happens if you have any other uh, uh, grants which you have okay and what is the eligibility and age limit you can check for the age guidelines fine and here they have given everything what is the fellowship how how you can apply directly uh, so if you are not in your institution and how you will be getting all these things everything okay and if you click here eligibility uh, you can see other eligibility as well and if you want to see the deadline of the project okay is there what is the last date of an acceptance of the application there is no last date of acceptance of the nomination okay you can apply so this is scrb power grant okay this is scrb power you can apply for this so if you just go and click here for anything you have to register first okay if you just go and click the announcement page you will be redirecting to the announcement section where you can uh, as i told you can click here ongoing once if you click ongoing you will be uh, you will be redirected to this that is you need a registration you first you wanted to register yourself you have to complete the principal investigator guideline co principal and uh, co principal investigator mentor guideline quick notes to submit a proposal okay what are the things you have to consider before you uh, submit any of this okay so this you have to check for referee guidelines frequently asked questions so all these things you can check it out here and then once you have checked it you will get these options as well okay scrb power grant so you can simply right click and see what is this national chair scrb international research experience state university research excellence so i hope you can just try it for uh, september 30 september 19 because since we have 10 more days you will be having any of your you can even apply a part of your research if you are doing a research okay you can apply even a part of the research from that so you can try that okay so these are the thing which you can just try explore it if you want to see the template okay like uh, here we have mentioned like these are all the template which you need uh, with the Mm, what to say like uh, what are the things which you need like uh, keywords objective of the project expected outcome output everything so if you want this if you want to see a sample uh, report you can just let me know okay so i hope you uh, get some idea from this if you have any doubts any queries you can leave that in the comment please share this with your friends so that they will be get benefited thank you Take care stay safe and bye bye